This is Amos chapter 1 verse 11. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, For three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and he did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and kept his wrath forever. And before we get started with this lesson, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Yahweh Chakwadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And Rechakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And. I uh, finished this series, Them, which is on Amazon Prime. And if you haven't seen this video or this series, um, I highly recommend that you watch this, okay? And this ser uh, series basically shows you the atrocities that Esau Edom has done to our people, the Israelites, okay? Which Esau Edom, if you don't know who that is, that is the... Um, what this world calls today so-called white people, okay? You know, you know, Caucasians. You know, their biblical nationality is Esau Edom. And um the Israelites, all right, consist of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And you know, we also have some of our people that are mingled with the uh other nations and they even look like the other nations, but ultimately, you know, they come back, you know, to the sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The point being, though, is in this show, they um, show you all the, you know, horrific crimes or some, I'm not even going to say all, some of the horrific crimes that they've done in the past, you know, few hundred years, okay? And, um, you know, they go, they show you how they um, basically lynched and, you know, uh, uh, set our people on fire, all right? That was during the time of, you know, basically, you know, the 1800s. They show you, um, you know, the inequality that was happening in the 1950s. Okay. You know how they would uh, um, basically do a thing called redlining. And if you don't know what redlining is, look it up. Pretty much if you're, you know, a so-called minority. All right. You know, black or Hispanic. That. You're, you know, basically just because of your ethnicity, you know, your property value goes down. You could be um, working le legitimate jobs. You can have a, a you know, outstanding, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you know, outstanding performance. You could be a law-abiding citizen, right? But the second they know you're, you know, who you are as a, you know, as an individual, your background, your how, you know, basically your, your, um. Your, your your property value goes down, or if you move into a particular neighborhood, uh, like how the, this family does in the, in this show, they moved into an all white area. Pretty much, that whole um area, its property value went down, and that caused strife and contention. All right, and basically not not just strife and contention. You you had harassment, you had um abuse, you had uh uh uh, uh, uh you know uh, attacks. You know, on this family, you know, it it really shows you what what you know what was going on, okay. It was a very good uh period piece, you know, and they also get spiritual too, okay. And um, in particular, in the episode nine, I believe it was called the Covenant, all right. In the show, it actually explains to you why Esau Edom, the the, the basically the so called white man, all right. Why he uh, puts all this hell on you uh, uh, Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and uh, Native Americans. And look, if you don't know the Bible, that episode will go over your head, okay? And um, pretty much, you know, this character here that you see on screen, he was a, um, he's an Edomite. And he's, um, long story short, he's, um, um... You know, he was going through uh, basically, you know, hell in his life. He basically lost his, you know, his uh, uh, his w uh, wife, his uh, son. And he was asking the Most High, you know, uh, you know, why did this happen to him? You know, why did you do this to me? 
And then he ended up uh, getting, you know, his um, his uh, prayers answered. And, you know, he ended up uh, finding a, a, a young child, which later in the episode, they'll show you that he was actually Satan himself. He just turned into the, you know, uh, he turned into, you know, a child. But um, they basically end up, you know, going back to the village. He ends up, uh, you know, caring for him. And that child ends up, you know, growing up with him, right? And uh, in that episode, they show this uh, Judite family, okay? Which you Judites are you so-called blacks, okay? And um, they basically come to the, you know, they basically have a, a issue with their wagon. Oh, by the way, this is during the time of the... Uh, the Civil War, their uh, uh, their wagon ends up breaking down, and he he this uh, Edomite ends up inviting them to the community, and saying like, "Okay, we'll help you out." Now, um, Esau and uh, uh, these Edomites end up getting jealous of these uh, uh, Israelites, and the reason why, deep down inside, is because they have the, the um, we the Israelites have the the that promised, okay, and that covenant. And you see, you know, wherever we go, you know, things prosper, you know, uh, our, um, see, the thing is, if we do it for ourselves, it won't prosper. But you see, once we, you know, basically are under subjection, under the heathens, then things work out, you know, perfectly. And that's basically what happened in that episode. You had, um, they had an issue with finding water. And then the uh, they asked the Judite for basically help, and he ends up finding it right away. And pretty much there was all this contention and basically jealousy going on. And uh, soon after, um, this guy right here, you know, he ends up uh, having these demons messing with him, and he ends up uh, basically, you know, saying that look, you know. Um, you know, we pretty much got to cast these people out, right? And, you know, while they're casting these people out, this is what they do to them, all right? They, you know, they burn their, you know, the, the, the their eyes out, okay? This is, this is what was going on back then, you know, uh, you know, uh, burning their eyes out, all right? They, they set them on fire, they, they, they were uh, uh, lynching them, setting them on fire, this is what was going on, Okay? All due to the fact that they were jealous. And he mentioned that... Because he basically realized that this these were the chosen people of the Most High. Okay? And that his people, the Edomites, weren't. You know? They pretty much, you know, uh, 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 say that. Okay? Because he, he ends up telling these, uh, uh, these Judites that, look... That you're getting punished because you didn't follow the, the, the commandments of the Lord. You broke the covenant. All right? And I, basically, he was saying that, look, I'm here as that, that instrument, okay, to place punishment on you, all right? And um, let me get two scriptures. This is uh, Genesis 27, and I'm going to get um, verse 38. Now, when you read up above, it goes into the, uh, the blessing that Jacob, all right, which his name was turned into Israel, okay, later on. It goes into how Jacob got the blessing, which, are, you know, our forefather is Jacob. And pretty much, you know, our blessing is that we're going to, you know, um, be the rulers, you know, of the entire, you know, planet for eternity. And we're going to have everybody bow down to us. And you see, Esau was mad about it. All right. He was he, he was mad because that happened. And this is what happened. This is Genesis chapter 27, verse... Um, 38, and Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lift up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and thou shalt serve thy brother. And you see, Esau did get a blessing, okay? You know? Because even in this whole series, right? You know, they show you, um, it's a lock, yeah, my bad, I can't find it right now, I don't have a photo of it, but pretty much in this series, they show you, um, and they mention it that, uh, this is our land, basically, 
You know, that these uh, Edomites were, you know, emphasizing that you're coming into our land. Pretty much, they, they know deep down inside that this is their blessing. And they're mad that, you know, Jacob, you know, is basically getting involved. You know, basically intruding, so to speak. You know? You see? And that's why they're upset, because th this is their time to shine. But you see, their, their time to shine is only temporary. And they're mad about it. Alright? Now I'm going to keep reading. And it says, um... And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing. That's why Edomites hate us, because we have that blessing, okay? And it says, Wherewith his father blessed him, and Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. And this is what was going on, all right? Now, this is what's been going on since, since this statement. Esau has been... uh. uh Attacking us ever since. Okay? Look at what he's done to our people. Not only physically, then you got this particular uh, uh, um, character. Alright, it's one of the daughters of the uh, uh, of this uh, man right here. Alright? This is the father of uh, uh, of the two daughters in the, in the show. And you know, he's got uh, his wife as well. But that daughter right there, she's all psychologically messed up because pretty much, you know... They're, they're saying that, look, if you ain't white, you're not right, you know. She was getting picked on at school, you know, getting harassed, you know. And she literally bleached herself, man. For the, Oh, she didn't bleach herself. She uh, threw paint all over. You know, Esau's done a, a huge thing on our people, even to this day. You see it. That's why our women, they bleach their skin. They always get their hair dyed blonde, you know. Always doing that stuff. You got our people wearing c colored contacts. They're all messed up, man. All right? You know? Then they economically messed us up. And they show, uh, show you this in this series. Okay? They show you a thing called redlining. And if you don't know what that is, basically, it, um, if you're a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, basically an Israelite, your neighborhoods are going to be in the red district. Okay? You Meaning, your property value is going to be low just because of who you are you can be a you know a, a so-called law-abiding citizen you can be you know you know uh have outstanding performances at your job you could be making good money but your property will always be lower just because of who you are all right and they um and esau still does this to this day you know they they uh make it hard for israelites to move into their neighborhoods the you know uppity areas because of the high tax rates they always um uh, charge you extra you know uh if you move in there making it very unappealing you know and then if you move into their neighborhood now the the uh value of that neighborhood goes down and you see that's why these um edomites all right in the show they um they were harassing this uh, family and this uh, the family that, that uh, you know with this guy right here and his wife, um, it was based in the the 1950s, and you see that guy he he, he had a good job he was an engineer, you know. He he was a, a veteran of the United States Army. And this is what they did still, all right. They 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 uh you know broke into his house killed his dog, all right. As you can see on, on the. On the uh on on this photo here, they basically put gasoline, you know, to put uh put gasoline, which spelled nigger lover, and then when they or nigger heaven, and then when they threw the match, you know, you could see that, and then basically it was um it was burnt into their lawn. Okay, same uh day they did this, they threw a bunch of uh, they hung a bunch of dolls up, you know, on nooses in front of their house. This, this is the stuff that was happening, man. Okay. All right, and then the reason why they, they, and the reason why that that family even moved, okay, because they weren't even originally from California, they were actually from the south. I I forgot exactly where they were from. They were somewhere from the south. I think they were from like the Carolinas. I think North Carolina, maybe. I forgot exactly where. They they, they moved because they had the KKK. I I believe they were the KKK. They never actually said that they were, but I believe that that's what who they were. They had this you know white family, basically. 
wait for the husband and and, and the um the husband to get out the house, and he took his two daughters to go see a movie, and they uh basically they raped his wife, and then killed his baby. Okay, because he also had a, a small son that got killed by these Edomites. All right, and these Edomites put this baby in, in a uh what what is that a um a pillowcase, and started swinging it around nonstop. You know, babies, they're very fragile. They can't deal with that, you know, type of, uh, um, that, that type of thing to their bodies. They, you know, their bones will break easily. You know, they'll have brain damage quickly. And that's what happened. So this is the stuff that was happening, man. You know? This is the stuff that Esau has been doing. And that's why the Lord said he's not gonna, uh, hey, he's gonna be punished for these things. Okay? He's going to get punished for all these crimes. And you see these Edomites, they're, they're, they're getting nervous right now because they're starting to see their kingdom fall apart. And, and then a lot of them are realizing that they got a lot of crimes to pay for, man. A lot of crimes. Okay? Not that the, not only the, you know their crimes you know that they're doing right now, but also what their forefathers have done. That's why there's a, a, huge, right, uh, a huge thing right now. It's a, it's a shameful to be white. Okay, all this history is coming out, and they're showing you this in, in all these, you know, uh, uh, movies, TV shows, magazines, you know, articles, all these things, man, news articles, everything. It's all coming out, and that's because the, the Lord said in uh, the book of Jeremiah that he's going to um, make Esau bear, meaning that he's going to expose him, all right? But let me get this. This is the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. So, woe means destruction, okay? And who's that nation that, that uh, works evil upon their bed? Who sits there and thinks about how to destroy, okay, the Israelites? All right, you so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. It's obviously so-called white people, which is the, uh, the Edomites. They go out of their way, okay, to make your life a living hell. And you see, this guy even uh, uh, said that when he... um. Going back to this, uh, because like I said, that episode nine is so heavy. Okay, this guy right here, he basically, uh, I forgot to mention when he made that deal with the devil. Okay, that ch uh, that child, which was really Satan, he made a point saying that look, in order for you to be okay and your your offspring, pretty much, you have to put hell on these people, because if you don't put hell on these people, they're gonna put hell on you. Okay. And there's that old saying that what uh, uh, a black man's heaven is a white man's hell and a white man's hell or a white man's heaven is a black man's hell. That's an old saying. Okay. All right. And you see, that's what these Edomites do. They sit there and they, they have to put hell on you because if they, they know if they do, that means they're going to be, you know, in a good case. But you see, we're at the uh, we're um, approaching the end of their reign. All right. And things aren't looking too good for these Edomites because, look, the Lord used them for a, 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 a moment only, okay? And that moment is almost up, all right? Yes, they're still in power right now as we speak, but it's fading away. And that's why you're seeing all this, like, uh, uh, um, you know, this um, this anger, you know, this uh, basically this, uh, this outlashing of these uh, so-called white people, these Edomites, because they, they don't know what to do. They're losing money. They're losing houses. They their families are breaking apart. They see our, um, us Israelites. We're getting the good jobs. We're getting the good positions. You know, a lot of our men are with their women. You know, it, it's really affecting them, man. Okay, but I'm gonna keep reading here. Let's get back to this Micah two and one. It says, "Woe to them that divides iniquity and work evil upon their bed. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand." And you see. Ultimately, the reason why they're able to do these things is because the Lord gave them that power. That's why I read that um that Genesis the twenty seventh chapter, because I uh, Esau did have a blessing. It said he was going to get the fatness of the earth, the dew of heaven. But how was he going to get it through his sword? But it also said when you if you uh, uh, read it uh, slowly, it says, "Thou shalt serve thy brother." Esau ultimately is going to serve the Israelites. Okay. Because hey, the, the, the scriptures say in uh, uh, Genesis, the 25th chapter, the elder shall serve the younger. And who came out first? All over, red, all over like a hairy garment. 
That was Esau. And then who came out next? Jacob. So Esau is going to serve. He was meant to serve. Okay. But right now, us Israelites, we're getting punished because we broke uh, uh, our uh, covenant with our power. Okay. Now I'm going to keep reading. This is uh, Micah 2 and 2. And they covet fields and take them by violence. And houses and take them away. Exactly. They take all away all our, you know, all our goods. Everything that we have. All right. And, you know, that, that's simple. All right. That's a simple breakdown. How did America get, you know, uh, get into the hands of these, you know, Edomites? They stole it. The Basically the whole world. Not only just here in America, but everywhere. You know? The reason why is because there's a lot of resources in these lands, you know? It says, and they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. And you see, they oppress a man and his house. You see, they, they did. This was in the like I said, they, this particular scene was in the what the, the during the time of the Civil War. All right, this is the time of the 1950s. Okay, this guy right here, he, he was getting attacked for something he didn't even do. You know. They cut his finger off. They beat him up. Okay. You know. They were, they were trying to do everything in their power to get him out of the, you know, out of that house. And this oh by the way, this was in a ten day time span. They they, they you know they showed you like how long, um, how long uh, uh you know uh, it was, and it was only ten days, man. And within ten days is what happens, you know. And they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. And, you know, basically during the time of slavery, they took, you know, basically they beat the, uh, you know, uh, beat the knowledge out of us. You know, who we are as a people. Because even in this scene, um, or in this particular episode, like I said, it's heavy. They had, um, the white women were making fun of her, saying like, oh, what language did you speak? You know, before English, you know. And basically, they were making fun of her because they didn't know she didn't know who she was, you know, that she was an Israelite, you know. And then you got the, you know Edomites trying to uh, you know, be a uh, uh, righteous, trying to take your heritage, you know. It's crazy. Keep reading, verse three. Therefore, does say the Lord Yahweh, behold, against this family, do I devise an evil? You see, so the Lord has an evil, okay, an evil time, okay. Set up for these Edomites. All right. And e it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, against this family do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go heartily, for this time is evil. And you see, you Edomites, you're going to have to pay, and you're, you're not going to run away from it. You're going to receive your judgment, and it's going to be a terrible judgment. And you're going to have to deal with it. And that's that. And the reason why is because of all the crimes you committed. Okay? Look at this. And this stuff was really happening. You see, a lot of our people, they don't want to, you know, uh, you know, watch TV series like this. They say it's too harsh. It's too gruesome. But this is literally what was happening. This is history. Okay? Look at this. Look at this, man. This is madness. And this is just one tribe, man. You know? One tribe. That they did this to. Imagine, think about all the crimes that they did to all the, all the tribes put together. Alright? You know? You, 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 hey, man, we were getting killed. Women, our women were getting raped. Our kids were getting raped. We, the men were getting raped. You know, all, all our goods were stolen. All our houses were set on fire. You know? They killed off our animals. You gotta think about it, yeah, and you know, uh, 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 our people, they're, they, they, they love their animals too, you know? Think about it, they, they slaughtered our animals, they stole them, okay? They, they, they beat us, they humiliated us. Alright? They took it too far, man, like, even though the Lord used them as that, uh, tool to, you know, um, to punish us, these guys took it way too far, man. They went above and beyond. Okay, so now they're going to get their judgment very soon. But um, I'm going to end it off. 
And like I said, if you haven't seen this uh, series, I highly recommend you do. And um, it's a very, you know, deep series. You know, it shows, like I said, the um, the atrocities of Esau. You know, what he did. You know, it, it shows you, like I said, in that episode 9. It, it actually gives you the explanation why Esau is doing this and why he can do it. Okay? You know, like I said, you have to have that spiritual eye to see it. You have to know the Bible to understand that episode. And then really to really understand the whole series, you know, to, to understand that series as a whole. Okay? But, you know, I'm going to end this off. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory to you. How about Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.